There's one more story that caught our attention today, but we're going to need a little more help and a little more time to investigate this one. This is cybersecurity researcher Chris Roberts. He claims he can hack a plane's controls through the onboard entertainment system, and he says he's done it more than a dozen times in flight, even sending code that made his plane move sideways. Now, the FBI is investigating, and the big question on everyone's mind is, is this possible? We're linking up with aviation security expert Jeffrey Price for answers. I think this is a, it's a new threat, and it's one of the things that we need to uh, take a look at in the future. One of the things I would take a look at with this particular threat is whether it's real or not. And there's a lot of debate behind that. If people are saying they can do it, then we need to find out if they can really do it or not. These are two systems that are completely independent of each other. You've got the in-flight entertainment system, then you've got the navigation and communication systems that are actually flying the aircraft. These are two completely separate systems that do not talk to each other. It, it would almost be like trying to use your home computer to start your car. The U.S. Government Accountability Office came out with a report in April of 2015 that stated that there could be vulnerabilities to the air traffic control, the navigation systems, the weather reporting systems with what's called next gen. It's the next generation of air traffic control technology. This might be a, a non-starter today. He might not actually have tapped into the navigational systems. He might have tapped into some databases that provided him some, some flight information, but not the actual avionics for the aircraft. However, in the future, what the Government Accountability Office is saying is that it's possible to tap into these systems as we transition to a more wireless communication and navigation system. I think today we're okay to fly, but I think what this brings up is a, a red flag that says, you're okay today, but unless you start protecting your air traffic control systems and you start protecting the, the future navigation and communication systems for aircraft and for the entire airspace system, then you won't be safe to fly in the future.